day after Thanksgiving. <laughs> I must have had the right answer. <laughs> what is that? That was my alarm going off saying that I have a lunch meeting here in a little bit. <laughs> but right before I have this lunch meeting, I'm going to have lunch because, well, you know, I'm a growing boy. Hey y'all and welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy where we're cooking up dishes straight from RecipesThatCrock.com which is my beautiful wife's cooking blog that has well over 500 recipes and rising. And today, Crock Posse, we're going to talk about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is upon us and we're all thinking about Thanksgiving. And then the day after Thanksgiving, we're all thinking the same thing. What do I do with all that leftover turkey? There's turkey pot pie, turkey pot pie soup. I know this because it's all on the blog. There's different ways to cook the turkey. And today we're going to talk about hot turkey sandwiches. Now, it's not Thanksgiving yet, so we don't have any turkey yet. So we're going to use some shredded chicken. But let's say you had about two to three pounds of turkey left over and you're like, what do I do with it? We're going to show you a simple recipe today to make some hot turkey sandwiches. Our stand-in is chicken. But you know what? If you like chicken, you can use it. You can go to the deli and get some shredded chicken. You could get some chicken breasts and cook them up and then shred them up however you want to do it. We're just going to tell you how to use some poultry and put it into motion. And what you need are the following ingredients. You need eight cups, two to three pounds of shredded bird. Emu. If anybody from Australia is watching, you know, New Zealand area, who knows? I love kiwis. And also you need one can of cream of mushroom soup one cup of chicken broth, and one half of a brick, which is 16 ounces, of cubed Velveeta, which will be sure to put a smile on your face. <laughs> and so what I'm going to do first, I reckon here, because this is my first time making it, is take my chicken, or yep. my turkey, yes. or my emu, and put it in my slow cooker, like that. <clears throat> this is frozen chicken. But which it's is already another cooked. great tip for your turkey, if you don't want to eat leftover turkey right after Thanksgiving, freeze Bag it. Bag it up and freeze it and you can use it later on. Yep. And somebody is asking already, well how long can you freeze the turkey for? Well, I don't know. Well, I was going to ask my expert, but a lot of good that did. Google it. Yeah, Google it. <laughs> That's what we'll tell you. That's what the experts say. Experts say Google it. <laughs> but I would think you could keep and a use, frozen food, a frozen food like that. Use discernment. I would say you could keep it for at least a month. Oh yeah, most most of the things, the thing about freezing is it gets less, uh, it, it deteriorates a little bit the longer you leave it in there. Yeah. So the, the sooner you use it, the better. The better it's going to retain its flavor and texture and all that stuff. Eat your turkey early. Yeah. So, but yeah, freeze it for a couple weeks and then pop the turkey out and make these sandwiches mm -hmm. for lunch one day and everybody will be thrilled. One cup? One cup of broth. Chicken broth. I wonder if they make turkey broth. Yeah, they do. You could use you turkey could, broth. You usually find it around this time of year, but um, but honestly, I don't notice a big difference. It's bird. Yeah. I wonder if they make emu broth. Oh my goodness. You got me curious. Now I'm thinking about going hunting emu. Not real. No. And then we take our smiley face full of cheese. Yes. And... Toss it in the slow cooker. Just like that. Hang on a second. The cat is destroying The cat couch. is scratching up our couch. Get it! Hey! And then do I just mix it up, I reckon? Yep, huh? you just mix it up carefully. 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 Yeah, with me. <laughs> And you get her all stirred up, get the soup down into the chicken, get the cheese all down into the chicken or the turkey. Yep. Or the As emu. it heats up, it's going to be easier to stir. So yep. that's fine for now. And now you put your lid on it and set it on low for two to three hours, stirring occasionally. And it will turn into a melty, wonderful goodness. I can attest to that because I came home from work last night and that's what I had for dinner. Yes. And this is what she looks like when she's 
done. Now you'll notice on the edges, this is cheese, this is a dairy thing. It's going to brown up, it's going to burn well, a little bit on the sides. You And part of that's because we just reheated it in yeah. the same crock. Um, it did fine yesterday. Um, Look at how that all melted down. It's though. just reheating it. Probably if we weren't reheating it for the show, we would have transferred what was in the slow cooker to a... Um, like a Tupperware container a or temp something. Well, a Rubbermaid container. And we would have um, then just reheated mm -hmm. portions in the microwave and it wouldn't have done that. that. That's a cooking show issue. Yeah. But We're still learning. Does, if that does happen to you, the rule with particularly with cheese in the slow cooker is don't scrape the sides when you're stirring. Yeah. If it starts to burn on the sides, Stay away stir from around it. it. Mm -hmm. And this is a hot turkey sandwich, hot chicken sandwich, yes. hot emu sandwich, yes. whatever y'all eat. Would you stop with Hot poultry either? sandwich. How we are, that? We're also going to put this version up with hot chicken. Mm -hmm. So this video will go on both the hot chicken and the hot turkey. Um, we just wanted to make sure that people saw it for and a now it's going to go turkey. into the hot hubby. Oh my goodness. Mm. You, you have a little on your face, dear other side. <laughs> oh, we got it. Uh, no, you didn't. <laughs> okay. <Grab> it. <laughs> That's just as good today as it was yesterday. Chicken, of course, turkey, whatever you're putting in it. You can definitely taste that. It's, in, it's tender. And then that mushroom soup, that was only one can of mushroom soup for, what was that, eight cups of shredded chicken? Mm-hmm. And that mushroom soup, you can really, really taste it. It's really, really good. So if you don't like mushroom soup, you could use celery, cream of celery mm -hmm. soup, and it'll have more of a Thanksgiving-y taste to what it. What about cream of chicken? You could use cream of chicken, too. Um, I don't think it really needs it because you've already got the chicken or the poultry taste to it. Mm -hmm. So I like. You kind of want to expand the flavors. Yeah, if you want to expand the flavor. Oh and, and yeah, cream of celery because then it would it would taste yeah. good. Stuffing inside. So if you don't like mushrooms, then don't do cream of mm. mushroom. But um, you can use cream of celery. Yep, yep. And that, my friends, super simple to make, and very very good. Very very good. I think kids would absolutely love this. Oh, I can attest to that. Miss you Addie want your kids to eat chicken, and kids don't like chicken. I don't know when I was a kid. Like my mama would make fried chicken, and I loved to eat the skins. I loved to eat the skin, but when it came to the meat itself, I just didn't care for it. You put slap a little bit of Velveeta cheese in that with some cream of mushroom soup and put it on a bun, your kids will fight over it. Yep. They are very, very good sandwiches. So, we want to thank y'all for watching another episode of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the Good Old Boy. And if you want to be an official member of the Crock Posse, then just go down below down here where it says subscribe, click it, and you will be a member of the Crock Posse. And also check us out over on Instagram at Recipes That Crock, Facebook at Recipes That Crock, and Twitter at Recipes Crock. And uh, y'all keep watching and we will keep cooking and all will be well. Thanks y'all.